Okay. Candy, you said Claudia read Nini like hooked on phonics. Why do you think Nini lost that battle? Well, because I just felt like, wow, Claudia had a lot of comebacks. Like, I'm not quick like that. That's not my thing. So when I see other people do it, it's funny to me. And I felt like she did her thing as far as that. Um, <laughs> Claudia, what was your reaction to Nini saying your clit has left your body? I thought it was stupid and it doesn't make sense. But, you know, she was kind of grasping at straws at that point. So. Say what now? Saying I, my thing has been ran through and I have no clit. How would you know that? It's there. You're on it. <laughs> when you're in an argument with somebody, it's a battle of the words. And that's just what it was. And what you saw is, is what it is. Deborah Jenkins said, Claudia, how many times does Nene have to apologize to you? She only apologized once, and I didn't feel like it was sincere. It was like, well, I'm sorry. OK. And you know, I didn't keep on asking her to apologize, but I wanted to know where it came from. I kept saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it like 15 times. No, you didn't. On the bus. If my apology is not accepted, then it's not accepted. No, I won't. I apologize. I, I can't won't. go into no other no, no, details. I, that's cool. I don't need you to apologize more than once. You know what? Cool. I said it. And uh, if she didn't accept it, she didn't accept it. And I'm fine with that. If she needs more time, then she can have all the time she needs. We got a lot of comments about one thing specifically that you said. Jeanette Birch from San Francisco said, Nini, I'm writing to express my disdain, shock, and horror at the words that left your mouth in Puerto Rico. I am referring to you calling Claudia half-breed. Never for one moment did I think I would hear such racist comments aired on TV. I'm appalled. It was shocking behavior from an educated woman and a mother. Well, when we were over in Puerto Rico having the argument, Claudia never cared that I call her that because she always says she's biracial and biracial and I'm light skinned or whatever. She said it the whole time this season. The only thing Claudia ever said to me was, why did I call her a whore? She never hopped in on that whole but thing. But referring to yourself as biracial doesn't mean that you're calling yourself a half -breed. Like I said earlier, when you're in an argument, it's the battle of the words. There are a lot of things that may come out that you may not necessarily mean. But why go to that and, like, Atlanta's not checking for that, and it's like... We were in the battle. Me bringing That's that up... That's a remark. Me bringing that up is because of not feeling that acceptance from some people when they say things like that, from both sides. I'm fine with who I am. But when someone says that in a big platform like this, it was said it, like it's a negative that I'm not full something. I'm half a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It wasn't like, you know, she was saying in a complimentary way. Just was totally off the cuff. Do you want to apologize for the half-breed thing? If you're asking me to apologize to the viewers, then fine. If there's anyone out here and I made that comment and it offended you, then I wholeheartedly apologize to you for that. I never meant to offend anyone by making that comment at all. I have friends that are biracial. My girlfriends are black, white, Chinese. Hell, I might even be mixed, OK? So please <laughs> accept my apology. <laughs> Now, however, that never bothered Claudia. You don't I know what bothered me because you didn't have a conversation I with me.